In this video, I'm gonna share with you 16 t-shirt design tips that every t-shirt designer should know, especially if you wanna sell t-shirts online. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. So I have a lot of experience when it comes to designing t-shirts. I've been doing it for a while now. And these are some of the tips, some t-shirt design tips that I wanna share with you to help you get more sales online with your t-shirt designs. And my hope is to keep it really simple, to give you examples of what I'm talking about. And these tips will help any new t-shirt designer uh, and people who just wanna learn how to do this and make money selling t-shirts online. So I wanted to give a quick thanks to those on the Facebook group, my Detour Shirts Facebook group that helped me out with some of these tips. They gave me some of those. I asked a question in there and got some answers, some good ones, wanted to share those with you as well. You're gonna wanna stay till the end to see all 16 tips and let's just get into the tips right now. So tip number one, I wanted to start with a very obvious one and that is don't copy anyone. Um, there's multiple problems with doing this, but a lot of new sellers I see, they look at what's selling and they do exactly the same thing. And that's not a good idea for a couple of reasons. One, uh, things that are online are copyrighted. So you're gonna have some copyright infringement and you could get some takedowns and you could lose your shop. But two, um, if you look at this example right here, tacos and cervezas, uh, you can see so many of them are copying the same thing, but the one that stands out is the one that's doing something different. So make sure yours are different. Think of what to do. Come up with something original. I put that as tip number one for a reason. So tip number two to remember is it's not just graphic design. So a lot of people have some really cool graphic design skills. They can make drop shadows and they can make all these cool different things. But t-shirt design isn't necessarily graphic design, it doesn't always translate. So if you got a nice book cover, or if you got some nice icons, or you're really good at drawing like big murals and stuff, um, you're gonna have to learn to make it fit for the t-shirt design. So um, look at this example right here. These are all great graphic design examples, but I don't think any of these are great for t-shirts, right? So a t-shirt design is a subset of graphic design. Learn what sells on t-shirt, learn about what t-shirt design is, and then you can, get those skills on what it looks like. So your graphic designs will help, but not everything that you know how to do in graphic design will translate into t-shirt design. So tip number three, I think most people know these, but I still see a lot of new sellers do this, and that is to remove the background. So you're gonna design in a tall rectangle, and typically when you design, you put a background in there so that you can see what's going on. Um, take a look at this one right here. You can see they didn't remove the background and it looks just like a big sticker on your t-shirt. You don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that the background is knocked out and so the letters pop and, and things just work. If you look at most t-shirt designs, they don't have this. So you're gonna to wanna to save your file as a transparent PNG file and so that way you won't have the background on there. So just make sure you do that before you save. So tip number four is fonts matter. They convey feelings, so make sure to pick the right fonts. So take a look at this meme right here. You've probably seen this online. I will always find you. One reads really happy and the other reads really creepy and that's just because of the different fonts that are being used. So make sure to use the right font for the right audience on your t-shirts. So there are fonts that work well for different audiences and you need to learn how to find those. Also, your fonts need to be big, bold, and easy to read. Those are the best ones to use on your t-shirt so that people can actually read what's on your t-shirt. Stay away from fonts that are kinda hard to read. And if people are squinting and can't read your shirt, then the message doesn't get across. So tip number five is to design in a tall rectangle shape. Now this isn't always the case. This isn't a hard and fast rule, but for new designers, I would say stick to this in the beginning just because it's a lot easier. Take a look at these examples right here. These are some of the top sellers on Merch by Amazon and look at the shape. They're all in the tall rectangle shape. So you've probably seen the video that I made recently about the top 100 designs on Amazon. If you haven't, I'll put a link right up here. Um, but most of them are in the shape of the tall rectangle. So it's something just really easy to do for, especially for new designers. So again, this isn't a hard and fast rule, but typically you'll get a lot better results by fitting your design in a tall rectangle. 
So tip number six is to use proper placement. So if you're not gonna design for a tall rectangle and you wanna make it horizontal, make sure that it's in the right spot. A lot of new designers don't know where to put it. They put it way too high or way too low. Just make sure it's right in the middle of the chest. You'll see these examples right here, what I'm talking about. You can see all of them are in the same area. So that's where you wanna place your designs if you're not gonna design for a tall rectangle. Another reason to do it for the tall rectangle is you won't have to worry about this. But if you do have a design and wanna get out of that tall rectangle, make sure the placement is right. So tip number seven is to use color to stand out. Take a look at these two examples right here. Uh, one is using color to stand out. The other is using different techniques to stand out, but the color one is just so easy to do. If you just add a little bit of color to your design, it can really make your design pop. Just make sure that it's the right kinds of color on the right kind of t-shirts. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have good contrast and all of that. So speaking of contrast, tip number eight is use contrast to stand out. Take a look at this example right here. Gray on black doesn't stand out as much as white on black. So make sure when you design your t-shirts to have that contrast so that it's easy to read and people can see your design better. So tip number nine is to know your audience. So every topic, every niche has a audience that wants to buy that. And it's your job to figure out what that audience is. So take a look at these examples right here. You can see they're all different designs and you can pretty much tell what the audience is for each of these, right? So 100 days of school with a dinosaur and a backpack, most likely a little kid that goes to school. Uh, and you can see the same with these. The Let It's Go Brandon t-shirt is a totally different audience than the t-shirt on the right. So make sure to know the audience you're designing for. That's gonna help you make sure that you get the best design for the people that wanna buy it. So tip number 10 is to make your designs easy to understand. So you're basically a walking billboard with your t-shirt. People are walking past you and need to know what your t-shirt is about in like three seconds. So make sure that it's easy to understand. Here are some examples that I found that are very easy to understand. Just by looking at them for a couple of seconds, you know what they're about. So keep that in mind when designing your t-shirts. Make sure that your t-shirts are easy to understand and just keep it pretty simple. So tip number 11 is to take time to do something good. Now, most people can kind of imagine how long something took to design and they're gonna kind of stay away from the ones that are just something they can do themselves. But if you take time to make something, craft something just a little bit better, your best work, I think others will resonate with that. So here are some examples of some that are just a little more detailed. You can tell that the designer took a little longer to design these. They're not very simple. I know the last tip said make it easy to understand, but these are still easy to understand, but just took it to the next level. So, so do your best work and take time to do something really good. So tip number 12 is don't overcomplicate it. So I know you, I said to do your best work. So there's a balance right here where you're gonna do something good, but now also don't go all the way to the other way where it's too complicated and not easy to understand. So there, designing t-shirts is a nice balance of the two. So make sure it's simple and easy, but not overcomplicated. So here, some examples of what I'm saying is, you can tell that it's just a little bit better than just putting text on the t-shirt, but it's also pretty simple, easy to understand, and does really well. So keep that in mind when designing your t-shirts is don't overcomplicate it. So tip number 13 goes back to the question, do I do quality or quantity? And the answer is you do both. So in print on demand, you wanna make sure that you're doing your very best quality. Now, it doesn't have to be super high quality, but you also don't want it to be super low quality. It has to be somewhere in the middle. Take a look at this example right here. Does this one need to be better quality? No, this is good enough. It does a lot of sales, so stop right there and do more of it. Do a lot more designs around this kind of quality where it's gonna make some sales. I don't need to add more to this t-shirt right here. It's good enough. Adding more to it and making it a better quality, quote unquote, uh, is not gonna make it sell any better. It's good enough to make sales. It's easy to understand and does all the principles that we talked about earlier. So the answer to quality versus quantity is to do both. Make sure that it's good enough quality and do lots of it. So tip number 14 is to make sure that your t-shirt designs are easy to read or easy to understand. So let's take a look at this example right here that we had before. I'm putting 
the other two t-shirts next to it that aren't so easy to read maybe the font's really hard the contrast is hard or the text is too small now the same for a t-shirt design with no words make sure that it's easy to understand you don't want the graphics to be too complicated that you can't you have to squint and find out what that is make sure that it's real easy to understand even as a graphic so tip number 15 is to create some interest on your t-shirt now this can be with color this can be with your artwork this can be with your words maybe it's a funny saying but just make sure that there's something interesting on your t-shirt it can be something like this look at these examples right here one has a you know a popping apple one has a really uh, nice graphic of a cat the one on the right has artwork with the arms and a heart shape so all of them have some kind of interest that's drawing your eye to it so Think about that when you're designing, taking time to design your t-shirts. Make sure that there's some kind of interest on your t-shirt that draws the eye. Tip number 16, the last tip, is to follow the data. Now, a lot of new sellers just want to design t-shirts that they think are the best t-shirts, maybe something they want to wear. That's a good place to start, but if you want to follow the data, you'll come up with designs that other people want to buy. So, for example, I'm not the type to wear a t-shirt for... Uh, Tuesday you know celebrating the 22nd day of February in 2022 but according to the data on Amazon it's something really hot right now right you can look at the BSRs you can look at the search results you can look at the autocomplete in this example and lots and lots of people want that so make sure that you have a design that people want to buy use the data to let you know that people are buying these things that it's selling well for you you can look at your own data as well to see what sells the best so make sure to follow data when designing t-shirts remember it's not about what you want it's about what other people want and design for that so i have a bonus tip that i want to share with you and that is seo will not save your bad designs so a lot of people are under the impression that they can just put up whatever t-shirt they want and just make sure that they've Put in the right keywords and the right title and the right things like that and they'll be on page number one and magically they're going to get some sales well yes seo will help you get on page one and make you rank but when you're ranking on there you're still going to be in competition with everything else on there so if you have a bad design like this example right here um, one lucky teacher the one that i circled right there really hard to read not following all the design tips that I talked about and what I think will happen is people will probably pass that over even if it's on page one they're going to buy the other things on page one and things that are going to stand out and are following the design tips that we talked about in this video so make sure make sure that you follow these design tips make sure that you give yourself the best chance when you're on page one so remember SEO is great but it's even better when you have a good design out there on page one for people to buy so that is it for this video thanks so much for watching hopefully all these tips all these t-shirt design tips were really helpful if it was make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to this channel already make sure to hit that subscribe button right there i wanted to leave with a question of the day and the question of the day is this what are some other t-shirt design tips that you use make sure to leave those in the comments if i missed any i'd love to hear it I'd love to add it to the list of these. I might want to make a list like this as a free download so you don't forget it. Um, let me know that in the comments if you want that free download on my downloads page. Thanks again for staying till the end and for watching this video. And if you want to see more tips on how to design t-shirts, make sure to click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.